Going crabbing when visiting Millport on the Isle of Great Cambria is very good fun. This video guide will help you get started. It will give you a good idea on how and where to catch the crabs, what bait to use, what you should and should not do, and the types of crabs you might catch. And then, once we bring the crabs back in for identification, we release them back into the wild. Bye bye. The Millport Library should have loads of guides which we could use to identify the crab species. There we go, we found Crustacea. Now where the guy? I've picked this book. Now we've got to find the crabs. There we go. Um, the one specific to Millport is going to be probably yeah, saw crab, edible crab, velvet crab. There we go. This one here is the velvet crab. Just gonna draw it so that when I identify it, it's a lot easier. All right, so we're going crab fishing. What kind of species are we going for? Oh, um, edible crabs, saw crabs, velvet crabs, spider crabs, anything of the sort. You know, just we catch them, identify them, chuck them back in. All right, the usual procedure. How are you catching them? Why are you recording my belly, man? Flip sick, eyes up here. You're, you're walking too quickly, man. So I've put in some big rocks, small rocks, some gravel, um, a bit of seaweed for, you know, aesthetics. Just make it as comfortable as possible. Alright, so next what you want to do is get your crab line. You know, open up. And you want to put in some bait. putting the bait in the net. The only thing left to do is cast out the line. Alright. Alright, let's go. The next step is just to wait um, five to ten minutes and we'll see what happens. So um I've unsuccessfully caught any crabs and I've been at it for the past half an hour. I've tried different zones. I've tried there, there, um, there that's where I'm currently. Um, the aim is to find the, the little crevices inside the rocks where potential crab might be found and you know where they usually kind of try to keep themselves hidden. Um, if we don't have any luck then we will move that way southwest. Um, hopefully we find something there. Um, good crabbing zones. Maybe. All right, so where are we? Uh, just beside the kiddie pool. Um, found a great spot where we think crabs might be hidden. Um, give it a try. Yeah. Go for it, two, one, boom. Yeah. Good shot. I've not actually, actually goes down quite deep. Yep.
Um, crab lining doesn't seem to be working so we are now heading for the rock pools to try the rock pooling method. I've swapped my crab line for my net and my boots for my wellies and hopefully this method works better. So as we're going out um, to look at different areas it's probably good passing by all these little places. So we managed to find a crab However, um, it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a good indication that there may be other crabs around this area. So, we'll keep trying. All right, so we've just found a crab, but it got away, so we're looking for it. Where is it? Where'd it go? I should not have moved away. I found it, I found it. Where? This one's another one, this is smaller. Just pick but it up. It's fine. Huh? Pick it up with your fingers. Yeah, but I can't cut it this, I did a tongs or something. Where'd it go? Pick it up with your gorilla fingers. It will sting me, man. <laughs> sting you? It'll inject its venom. Found oh, no, there's another small one. Yeah, I can see the small one. Oh, this is heavy. Go. Oh, one crab. I'm just gonna take it back and identify it with all the other crabs. Rah, 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 rah. I'm gonna. There we go. Have a little hermit crab. See if we can get it out. Alright, about three, let go. But managed to catch about three or four just from rock pools. You know? Um, All right. Let's have a good look. See, yep. <sighs> Gonna put them in the in the in the bucket with all the other ones. Nice way just have and a good look at them. We can call it a day. Nice. All right. Is he facing me? Oh no, it's not. I'm just trying to grab his backside. You know what? <laughs> I think. Are you recording? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think I'll just let him in gently. Come on. Freedom, um, kind of. <laughs> I guess more space. Look, he's coming out. Oh, can you see him? Yeah. All right, next one, the big one. There we go. Who's next? All right, I'm gonna put the rocks in there now as well. Sure. I don't want to cross any animals, so I'll put them where they all not there. Where's our boys going? Just done my homework, took a note, and picked myself up a sore guide, which we'll be using later to identify the crab species we caught. We've given a day for the crabs to settle in, and now we're going to try identify some of the crabs we've caught. So this one here is a, a swimming crab belonging to the Petunidae family. Um, you can tell because of its flattened fifth feet, which looks kind of like paddles. Um, females are generally more wider at the bottom and um, they can grow up to 90 millimeters. Um, the way you identify these is um, you would use one of these four guys which we picked up from the library. Next we have the hermit crab. This one's bigger than the one we found beside the rock pools. They are known for their behavior to switch out of their cells when they get too big. Finally, my favorite one is the common spider crab, the Lavinia emerginata. They have a muddy yellow colored triangular carapace and they feed on starfish. So if they were to be left in the tank for too long, you have to be careful when holding crabs. Grab them from the back or they will pinch you. Oh, 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 oh my god, ow, ow! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Ouch! Bass. Now he's walking away like a thug life. I have your phone here, by the way.
Right and left, right Fuck left. I'm gonna head back up. Walk without a sound, skittle, skittle here and there. Take a breath of ocean air. <sighs> so, we've just picked up the crabs from the tank and we're going to release them into the ocean. <laughs> just gonna find a good spot to let them go. Maybe a pier or something. So we've got some saw crabs in here, some spider crabs and a sea mouse, which we're about to release. If you're too afraid to hold the crabs, you kind of just want to let them go gently. So just tilt the bucket, let the water from the bucket incorporate with the seawater, and tilt at an angle. Here we go. Take a breath bye bye. of ocean air.